soft serve gentleman Dean Alejandro here and today I am day three without vaping nicotine um, as some of you know I have been struggling with this I was gonna quit and I decided not to it was always the thing of when this vape runs out I'm gonna stop and honestly the reason that I decided not to stop was because I was afraid of the withdrawals I was afraid of all the emotions that I was gonna have to process and ultimately I was afraid of myself because I do not have any coping mechanisms uh, since I quit using drugs and alcohol over three years ago um, I've had a lot of realizations lately I'm going to go into in another video as far as my um, recovery journey and um, with that it brought up a lot of emotions with nicotine and the addictive mentality that I do have so today is day three um, I've kind of been using this necklace that I got off Amazon it kind of is just like something that you can pull I learned if you do it this way it actually has like a pulling um, you know effect with that but what I wanted to go ahead and say um, on this video like I mentioned on my TikTok, is that yesterday was the 4th of July and I was really anticipating it to be really difficult actually the holiday was one of the reasons why I was persuading myself not to quit using uh, nicotine and I decided against it because I just kept going in this cycle of like when am I gonna quit when am I gonna quit right and um, I was struggling a bit mentally with thinking about quitting for the holiday because I knew people were going to be around me. That is a big uh, trigger for me to be around people that are smoking and also peer pressure is something that I really struggle with too, which is what got me into my whole addiction in the first place, as you may know. Um, and I basically decided to say screw it and go through the process and um, quit, right? So yesterday I actually had an easier time than I anticipated quitting because I have realized the past three days that I was in such a battle of complacency that um, I the, the process of going through the withdrawals emotionally and physically have actually been refreshing to me because I was in such a bad state of complacency with my addiction and my recovery journey journey um, that the fact that I'm having these emotions that I'm processing these feelings even waking up in the middle of the night in a deep sweat like it's kind of reminding me that I'm human and that it is beautiful to be able to feel these things even though they are negative um, I'm learning a lot about myself also so it's been pretty crazy to realize, even though I've been in recovery for so long, how complacent that I've been. Um, and I just wanted to do a video and just, again, with my accountability, again, with my transition, my transformation, going through this journey, kind of post that and post that also, if you are interested in quitting, it's possible. You don't have to cold turkey quit like I did. There's tons of resources available. You can do patches, you can do gum. There's a bunch of different things like that that you can even get for free depending on your state. Me personally, I go balls to the wall and I have no chill. I cannot slowly decrease my amount. Um, I have to just completely quit or else I will go through the mentality of What's the point? I may as well just use 110%. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe um, for more content and I hope that you have a great day.